We have to turn to some sad news tonight as Chiefs Kingdom is mourning the death of former player Otis Taylor. The Super Bowl champion was 80 years old. KSHB 41 News anchor Bryant Madrick has more on the impact Taylor made on Kansas City football. A Super Bowl champion. i would never seen anything, anybody like him. NFL legend. The way he catches the ball. Once he catches it, you know, he makes yardage. And friend. I just can't believe he's gone now. Otis Taylor died Thursday night. Former teammate Bobby Bell remembers number 89. Here's a guy that played the game. He left nothing. You know, he left nothing, nothing. I mean, he had it laid out. He played 120% all the time. Taylor played for the Chiefs during the 60s and 70s. The wide receiver is credited with clinching the team's first Super Bowl victory. The way we think of Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey today is exactly how the 60s fans thought about Lynn Dawson and Otis Taylor. They were a combination that was purely unbeatable. Broadcaster Dan Israel says Taylor was making plays long before it was common. We judge today's receivers by the threshold if they get 1,000 yards receiving. Otis was doing that in the 60s when we didn't throw the ball around a whole lot. Otis Taylor made plenty of plays on the field, but Bell says he made just as much of an impact in the community. If we participated in the community. If they needed something, uh, if there's something, a fundraiser, something like that, they call us, we were right there to help them out and whatever we can do. Bell says he'll remember Taylor's talent and hopes it's not lost to time. We should have him in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's, he's just overdue. Chiefs legend Otis Taylor was 80. In Kansas City, I'm Bryant Madrick, KSHB 41 News.